Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I am Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing a highly requested uh, whiskey? Liqueur? liqueur. It's a liqueur. Eh, I'm going to go apple whiskey. If you, if you whiskey. check the front of the bottle, it says it's an, yeah, it is it's an apple, apple liqueur. Whiskey. No, it says apple whiskey uh, with Jack Daniels. Oh, that says liquor. Never mind. Yeah, apple liqueur blended with Jack Daniels, so it's apple whiskey. That's I, literally what it is. That's um, questionable right there. So... It's got a sticker on the top. I'm, you know, the price on this was a little high compared to other, like, um, oh, wait a minute. whiskeys or apple whiskeys in this. I should have a knife for once. I left my pocket knife out in the car. Uh, I'm not allowed to carry my, a pocket knife anymore. I'm carrying my Firebird today. Oh, look at you go. Yeah, so, um, yeah, for apple whiskeys, it's kind of pricey, like, honestly. Yeah, I mean... Have you ever bought a bottle of Honest to God Apple Jack? It, that, that's really expensive. Well, this is new. Uh, yeah. This just came out. So, uh, this is $22 for a bottle. So, let's compare that. What a weird top. It's a little bit odd. That's not normal Jack Daniels cap. So, let's compare that to. Um, oh, it's weirdly green. Let's compare that to like Jim Beam Apple or Evan Williams Apple. Which are twelve to fifteen dollars? Put it down on the table and look at it through the table. It's weirdly green. It has a slight look at that green to it, but if you hold it up to the light, it just looks like whiskey. Yeah. Uh, I've got some floating in that. All right. That's all right. It's it's sterile now. Uh, it smells great. I mean, but it unfortunately I'm not getting any whiskey in there. A little bit of whiskey. It smells like it's got uh, green Jolly Ranchers. It's got a very strong candy scent to it. You know what I want to do? We're going to experiment one day on the show. We're going to see if we can't make our own apple whiskey with pucker. We're going to take some pucker and some whiskey, and we're going to mix it. Pucker's liqueur. Okay. And we're going to mix it with some whiskey and see if we can't make our own. I mean, we, we can give it a try. I, I'd be willing to try. So, all right. Um, a little touch of, a little touch of whiskey. You, you might get a, you get a little oak in there. You know, way back in like barely like made. it's attached to the alcohol it's scent. all apple it's no. mostly all apple it's got a lot of apple Let's in it do it all right it's very mellow actually for the flavor or for the scent that it gives off it is 35 percent alcohol by volume it is slightly smoother than expected I thought, it was gonna, I thought it was going to be like almost a, a like fully a fully flavored thing. This this doesn't taste like it was a, it was only bred to be an apple flavored thing. It tastes almost all apple. Like there's, in my opinion, the problem with these beverages, um, there's never enough whiskey flavor. Mm. Like, and I know a lot of people who drink these from first-hand experience. I told you that story about that salted caramel. I mean, guy. yeah, they're, uh, people don't like whiskey, so they're going to drink stuff like this. Their plan is to buy something that is not that is not whiskey flavored. That's understandable. Then just buy flavored vodka or liqueur or something. Don't buy like whiskey. It's weird. Yeah, but here's the thing: to make this taste like uh, to make this taste like apple. You got to have a whole lot more apple flavor. So this is very powerful apple. A lot of those uh, apple flavored like vodkas and such. Just a little a little touch of apple. Just a little toss You're in not there. Getting the right ones then. Um, so straight, it's good. Would I put it on crown apple level? Mmm, because crown apple is yeah, kind of you know, like that's difficult. Crown apple's probably one of the better ones. Yeah, um, but so it's, Canadian whiskey is already a little bit uh, already a little bit sweet. Though. The problem with Crown whiskey is it, the Crown apples is just too expensive. Like mm -hmm. for the price, you can get something cheaper. I'm gonna give this uh, Jack Daniel's apple. I think it is a seven and a half, which is high. I mean, straight, it's not bad. Uh, straight, that's seven and a half straight. If it was chilled, it would be an absolutely easy shot. Um, taking a half a point off for being overpriced because if it needs to, if it needs to compete with its in the category, I think it needs to be eighteen dollars. I think that's what it needs to be. Yeah. It can be higher because yeah, they yeah, have yeah. the Jack Daniels name behind it. I get it. It's going to be higher. That's fair. But it should be $18. I think 22 is too much. I think I'm going to give it a seven, uh, uh, seven and a half. It's good. I, I appreciate it. It's very apple-y in all of its aspect. I wish there was a little bit more bourbon in this. I feel Not like, bourbon, whiskey. Or whiskey in this. Yeah, that's right. This is Jack Daniels, isn't it? I, I wish there was a little bit more whiskey in this. Just a little bit more charry, woody character. 
Because apple and that charred sort of like vanilla bean woodiness, that goes together really well. That being said, we were mixing with ginger ale, and it is quite good mixed. Mm -hmm. This is good. your standard ginger ale, by the way. This is not the not the ginger lime or lemon stuff that we It's quite we good as a mixer. Uh, I do dare say it might be a little bit better. I mean, apple and ginger goes together really well. It's a good choice. Uh, I'm going to go with an 8 as a mixer, which is kind of high. But I'm going to go with an 8. I think it's a better mixer than it is straight. Um, we will be putting all the popular apple whiskeys on the market head to head and a blind taste test. I mean, we're going to have all eight or we ten. We have a lot of them too. All our eight or ten of the apple ones. We're going to get that's going to be out. a long video. It will be a 20 to 30 minute video. But uh, I'm kind of still working out the kinks on how we're doing it. Yeah. We still have to review this one and we have to review the Seagram's and Bird Dog. Once we oh, do yeah. those. I forgot about the Seagram's one. Once we do those, uh, then we will do... Um, a, um, a, make a, an apple off. Yeah, we'll find we'll, and we'll put the best ones in order. So first, second, third. <laughs> Maybe we'll do like best value, best overall, and that sounds good. Yeah, we like could that. have a couple of different, uh, a couple of different competition factors. So here's the question: Do we recommend this? It's so hard because it has so much competition. There's a lot of cheaper alcohol that is apple, or there's a lot of cheaper whiskey that's apple flavored. I think, yes, people have a brand preference for towards Jack Daniels, and it's, it's not that bad. It's apple flavored sort of liqueur area. It doesn't really taste like whiskey, but it's apple flavored alcohol. It is $6 more expensive than Jim Beam Apple. That's true. Uh, benchmark Apple, it is $12 more expensive than Benchmark Apple. That's painfully true. You can get two and a half bottles of Benchmark Apple for the price of this. I still got to say, some people have this brand preference that they stick to. If you're mixing it or you're shooting it cold, I don't think it would matter. If you're drinking it room temperature, That's, then you might be able to... Which is what we're currently doing. Might be able to tell the difference. Because, <laughs> um, you know, drinking it at room temperature, more the flavor. Well, I wonder happen. what would happen if we started if we started adding a little bit of spring water to this. If you like Jack Daniels and you really want to try it, go for it. But it's honestly not that much different I tell you what, than a lot of the other Apple... Buy a shot there. bottle. They don't have those out yet. This, but, well, this when is, they come out... This because literally gonna, came out two days ago. Like when they come out, they're gonna come out. Get yourself a shot bottle of this. this it's is, definitely worth a shot. This bottle. is freshly bottled. Fresh. Yeah, fresh. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that I would buy myself a Fun whole facts. fifth of this. Enjoy chilled. Okay. No, no, not just that. Caramel color added. Ah. Look how they try to hide it in the. Uh, yeah, that's in right. The they, tried to, they tried to hide it in the piping. That's not yeah. cool, man. Uh, caramel color added. That's They're adding in the piping of the letter, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's it's not terrible. Um, but I would wait until there's a shot bottle. All right, well, uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.